moving on to developments in the sniper investigation itself. Fox 5's Bob Barnard begins our team coverage live from police headquarters in Rockville. Hi, Bob. Hi, Tracy. Ballistics tests performed here in Rockville confirm yesterday's murder was yet another sniper shooting. The elusive gunman has now killed 10 people and wounded three others. And as far as we know, police this afternoon are no closer to catching the killer. A small memorial of flowers and burning candles marks the spot along Grand Prix Road in Aspen Hill where Conrad Johnson, a Montgomery County ride-on bus driver and father of two, was shot and killed by the serial sniper Tuesday morning. I just get very discouraged. It doesn't sound like they're very close to catching him. Police believe the sniper was perched in these woods. Branches of bushes cut by investigators still litter the ground where another note from the killer was found. Police also say they want to hear from witnesses who may have information about Tuesday morning shooting, but are afraid to come forward because they may be in the country illegally. Montgomery County police officers uh, do not have any authority or authorization to enforce uh, immigration laws, and um, we want to talk to them about this crime. Prince William County police say they are also looking for additional witnesses to the shooting at this Manassas gas station two weeks ago. We also are looking for anyone who might have been driving a white van in the area at that time. We've gotten several reports of, of a white van being seen in the area. We've checked out a lot of them, but there are still a few that we have not been able to track down. All around the region, schoolyards remain empty. Police working overtime to protect children kept inside classrooms. A palpable fear gripping the community. It's not that I am afraid to go out, but if you don't know where it's coming from, it, it's... It's a weird feeling. Federal and local police are trying to offer words of encouragement about their search for the sniper. All the leads that come in, we follow those up every day and we eliminate potential suspects. So progress is made every day and uh, it just puts us one step closer. Thank you. And Chief Moose promises he will not bargain away one life in any attempt to communicate secretly with the killer. This investigation, as all criminal investigations, are very important to us and all <laughs> people in our profession. But let me just be real clear that public safety comes before any investigation. Now we're learning more this afternoon about what the killer has apparently requested of police in the letter that was found at one of the murder scenes. Fox News is reporting that the killer asked the police, in fact demanded the police electronically, electronically transfer $10 million to a credit card account. That the killer provided police with a credit card number and a PIN number, but the credit card came back stolen and so police either will not or cannot do what the uh, killer has asked them to do. And Tracy, uh, Fox News is also reporting that the killer says is if his demands are not met, police will need body bags. And that's a quote. Back to you. That is chilling, isn't it, Bob? We appreciate that report. I can tell you the calls keep coming in to the sniper tip line. At last count, 67,000 calls had been recorded. That's about 400 calls an hour. Investigators still want to hear from you, though. If you were anywhere near the scene of one of the shootings, if you have any information at all, call that nationwide tip line, 888-324-9800.